inside the Arctic Circle. The sun doesn't rise for weeks at a time. Minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a really tough environment to live in, but it's also a strategically important region of the world. The sea ice is melting, shipping lanes are opening up, and we're finding that there is a lot more desire to be in the Arctic region from not just the United States, but also from our adversaries. When you really look at the threat area, it's not just security for Norway and Europe. This is the area where threats can go across the high north and attack the United States. What's really needed in that region now, as more military forces are deployed there, is communications. ASBM is the Arctic Satellite Broadband Mission, and it's this really groundbreaking program that Northrop Grumman is providing to Space Norway. Northrop Grumman is involved in almost all aspects of this program. We are building two satellites. As one satellite descends to the bottom of the Earth, the other is actually rising to the top. So we'll have 24 hours of coverage every single day. We need secure communications to talk to aircraft, to UAVs like our Triton system. With the evolving threats in the high north, it's ever more important to be able to monitor the huge maritime expanse. Triton can cover an area of 4.2 million squared nautical miles in a single flight, making Triton a huge technological tool that can give an advantage. We can have soldiers in the field, inside the Arctic, be able to call up communications, instantly connect to them in case there's a life-threatening situation, or heaven forbid that we're in a conflict and we need to have that command and control capability. What makes this unique is not just the fact that we're putting a classified United States Space Force payload onto a foreign commercial satellite, but it's really the architecture and the technical innovation that goes into that. We have developed this Alcatraz-like barrier between the payload and the satellite and the communications that go down to the Earth. So really innovative technology. Space programs are complicated, space programs are hard, but in this case, ASBM is breaking the mold for all of those. Even maybe just 10 years ago, I could not have thought that we would do a mission like we're doing with ASBM 